This is not just another run-of-the-mill men's winter essentials video, because instead of just telling you that you need a coat, a scarf, and a hat, I'm gonna be doing three things a little differently. Number one, I'm going to get very specific with my recommendations. I'm gonna tell you why I think these items are the things that you really need, and we'll go a little beyond the usual than some of the items you typically see in these types of roundups. We'll get into all of that right after this. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style. On this channel, I'm all about giving you the advice and inspiration you need to dress well, develop your personal style, and in the process, gain more confidence and transform your life. Winter essential number one is a gray flannel suit. It's very important to have a suit that matches the season, and if you're only gonna have just one, I recommend that it is a gray flannel suit. Flannel is one of the best and most classic winter fabrics. It helps keep you warmer. The gray color is very versatile, so you can pair it with a wide variety of shirt and tie combinations. But the best part about a gray flannel suit is that not only are you getting a full suit, but you are also getting a great standalone jacket and pair of pants, which expands the options that you have in your wardrobe exponentially. And that is why a gray flannel suit is my number one winter essential. By the way, if you want some more inspiration on how to wear a gray flannel suit, I've got a video linked right up there. And to shop any of the items I discussed in this video, check out the description below where you will find links to everything. Winter essential number two is a cashmere sweater. Now, like flannel, cashmere is a great fabric for the winter season. It's very soft. It's very warm and a cashmere sweater is a garment that is instantly going to upgrade your winter style. In terms of types or styles of cashmere sweaters, the one you choose kind of depends on what you're going for. A crew neck is a great casual or more laid back option. You could wear it by itself or easily layer it over a button up shirt for a very simple and classic look. Or you could go with the turtleneck for something a little more elegant and sophisticated. Now I can hear you through the screen thinking right now, I'd love a cashmere sweater, but they're always so expensive. And that is definitely a problem that comes up. Cashmere is always going to be a little bit pricier, but there are companies like Gobi Cashmere and Falconeri, for example, that do offer less expensive direct-to-consumer pricing. With a cashmere sweater, you are getting tons of style, sophistication, and a touch of luxury, and that is why it is one of my winter essentials. Winter essential number three is a cozy robe. It's cold outside, which means it's gonna be a little colder inside as well, especially when you first wake up in the morning. So having a nice robe to throw on as an extra layer is not only practical in the sense that it helps keep you warm, but it's stylish as well. During the winter time, I think it's great to have a robe in a seasonal pattern like a tartan plaid. I recommend checking out LL Bean because they have some really great options and they're also very reasonable in terms of price. Now, if you're looking for something a little more sartorial, you might opt for what's called a dressing gown. Now, a dressing gown is meant to be worn over clothing, so it should not be confused with a bathrobe. In addition to being more elegant than regular robes, dressing gowns are generally more expensive than regular robes as well, but if you invest in one, they are nice to wear around the house this time of year. And if you get a really fancy one, it's a great way to make an elegant statement at a holiday party or winter cocktail party that you might host. Winter essential number four is a stylish pair of leather gloves. Typically, when guys go to buy a pair of leather gloves, they're gonna go for either a black pair or a brown pair, and that's fine. I recommend that as well. But the style of the glove is often very simple because the simpler the style, the more versatile it's gonna be, right? Not necessarily. Take a look at this pair right here. Uh, it has a very intricate and unique woven back, which is such a cool standout detail, but it's subtle enough, especially from a distance, that it doesn't take away from your ability to style them many different ways. For a more casual pair, you might consider something like this. These are made from genuine shearling leather with a warm wool inside and a suede finish outside. If you have a more casual, maybe rugged or outdoorsy style, I think this would be a great pair of gloves for you. Winter essential number five is a dinner jacket and or a smoking jacket. So around the holidays, although they've passed now, it's always a great time to dress up more formally. Typically when wearing formal wear, I would recommend keeping it pretty simple and not calling attention to yourself. 
But during the winter time, during the holidays, it's always nice to have a little more fun and be a little more festive. There are two ways that I like to do that, and the first is with color. Burgundy is a great color for a dinner jacket. It's perfect for the holidays, perfect for the winter time, and it's definitely something that you could wear for other formal occasions throughout the year. Second is to choose a velvet fabric and opt for a slightly more eccentric smoking jacket style. Here I've got on a double-breasted shawl lapel version with great piping details around the button closures, on the sleeves, and on the edge of the lapel. This is a brand new item that I'm super excited about having in the shop now, and you can check it out for yourself with the link down in the description. Winter essential number six is a silk scarf. A silk scarf is a great elegant alternative to a wool scarf or a cashmere scarf. The fabric is much thinner than wool or cashmere, so you have a lot more options in terms of how you can tie it and how you can style it. For example, you can easily wear it practically for warmth under your coat, but it also makes for a really elegant accent with a suit or tuxedo. Personally, I love a silk scarf with a simple polka dot pattern. It's just so classic and timeless. Navy is a great choice for the most versatility. Black, if you plan to wear it more with your formal wear. And burgundy is always a great choice for the holiday season. Winter essential number seven is a casual warm coat. Even though we've been talking about sort of, you know, next level style items here, I do think it's important to have a really good casual coat. In other words, a coat that's not an overcoat. Obviously, we want one in a thick, warm fabric, and my pick for the best casual yet very stylish winter coat is the venerable pea coat. The most classic version of this is the navy pea coat, which is extremely versatile, but if you're interested in something classic that's a little different, I would choose something like this in a brown tone. It's just as versatile as navy, but quite unexpected and very stylish. Winter essential number eight is some all-weather footwear. Now, you might think, based on my selection so far, that I'm gonna say, you need to get a pair of hunter boots, but that is not the case. I mean, don't get me wrong, hunter boots look great in all those idyllic heritage brand men walking together in their best tweed through the hillsides and mud of Scotland photos, but that's not reality, and I've come to the realization that as much as I might want to pretend that that is my life, it's not. So it's not practical. What is practical, however, is what is my favorite pair of all-weather footwear, the never out of style Bean Boot from LL Bean. I actually have three pairs. I have the Mox, I have the Gumshoes, and I have the eight inch boots. Between those three, I'm covered whether I've just got to run out to let the dog do her business, split and gather some firewood from the backyard, or shovel several inches of snow from the driveway. Now, from utility to luxury, we have winter essential number nine, a pair of house slippers. And here, I'm not talking about your regular old clunky slippers, no. Here, we are talking about a more classic, sleek, and old school style of slipper. Something like the Crockett and Jones Ritz, which is a quilted lined mule with a soft leather upper and sole. Or if you know, you're not a fan of the mule style, my personal favorite is the Belgian shoe Mr. Casual in wool. And my favorite pair to wear in the winter is this pair right here in black watch plaid. These types of slippers or house shoes look and feel much more refined. And that is why they are one of my winter essentials. One of the great ways to stand out from the crowd during any season is to have a unique version of a garment that everyone is wearing, which is why winter essential number 10 is a statement overcoat, and I'm choosing this particular overcoat right here. First thing that stands out, obviously, is the pattern. It's a big and bold houndstooth check, and I feel like patterns like this are great during the winter because they provide a big contrast to what is typically a more minimal and bleak landscape. This coat is made from a thick wool and also has a quilted inner lining, so it's a very warm coat and it has a few more subtle details that help make it even more unique and special, like the Prussian collar, raglan sleeves, hidden button closures that go all the way up to the neck, and sleeve tabs. 
This coat, along with all the other items I mentioned in this video, are linked below in the description. And if you're looking for more ways to upgrade your winter style, I've got a playlist for you right up there. It's filled with outfit ideas, wardrobe recommendations, and reviews of some of the best menswear you can find. So go ahead and click there to keep taking your winter style to the next level.